The Stream Deck is one of my favorite new smart home devices that I never even knew I needed. Because this displays and controls my smart home way better than I could have imagined. The Stream Deck is a bunch of customizable buttons that kind of have a nice tactile feel to it. And normally video game streamers use this, but one of you reached out to me and told me how you were trying to use one of these as a smart home dashboard. And I love that idea, so I bought one right away. The buttons have a little LCD screen behind it and they can change based on different views or what program you're using. But there's a problem, and I guess this is a good problem. These come with infinite possibilities. The buttons can do anything you can think of, which is kind of overwhelming. That's why I'm going to show you 20 ideas on how I'm using it. And these aren't gimmicky ideas, but actually useful. You might be like, come on, Reed, I got a perfectly good keyboard with lots of buttons on it, so I don't need a stream deck. True, but you know when you're listening to Spotify and then click on a YouTube video and realize you need to pause the Spotify music? So you click the pause button on your computer, but it pauses the YouTube video. That's frustrating. With a Stream Deck, you can drag over a Spotify play pause button anywhere you want. Then when you press it, you'll know it will play or pause Spotify 100% of the time no matter what. Plus it shows the song's album art on the button when it's playing, which is pretty sweet. I would almost buy a Stream Deck just for that, but it gets way better when you connect it to your smart home. My smart home paired with a Stream Deck has actually helped me have a better relationship with my family. It's true, and let me explain. Working from home is great because I get lots of extra family interactions. Dad, I know you're in there. But you know, sometimes I just want to focus on work and I don't want my family to think I'm ignoring them. So I have a button on the Stream Deck that turns on a smart light in the hallway to let my family know I'm busy. Using a Stream Deck for this is awesome because I can see if the switch is on or off and I don't need to buy an extra smart button for this to work. Now if my kids ignore that red light, I have some really cool automations that happen. So hit that subscribe button to see how I fight back. Another thing that's really useful is setting buttons to quickly open up URLs in a browser. It's actually a lot faster than opening up a new tab and finding the bookmark. You just press the button, the screen automatically switches to the browser and the page loads right up. This is especially useful if I want to pull up my outdoor camera streams and see who's in front of my house. I just press the button and about a second later, the live stream is loaded. I love it. Now, most things around my house are automated, which is great, like the speakers on my desk. It's a pain to reach the physical power switch. I know what you're thinking. Wow, you're that lazy? Uh, yeah, I am. So I have them plugged into a smart power outlet strip. They automatically turn on when I walk in the room and turn off when I'm not in the room anymore. It's convenient. But I don't always want them on, so I can quickly turn them on or off from the Stream Deck. It's extremely easy and I get the best of both worlds of automation and physical buttons. What's really cool is that you can display sensors and all sorts of smart home data on the Stream Deck. I have an Ecobee temperature sensor right near my desk and it displays the room temperature right there with a nice little auto-generated icon. That way when it's feeling extra hot in here, I can press another button and it will turn the AC on for this room. There's also another button displaying the set temperature and equipment running for the thermostat. Then when I'm all cooled off, I can have one more button to resume the normal thermostat schedule, which will stop running the AC as much. I love that you can do all of that from this little device and I'm just getting started. When I'm at the desk trying to get work done, it can be extremely distracting getting lots of notifications. Like if someone's going in and out of the front door nonstop because they're working on something, those continuous video doorbell notifications can drive me insane. So I have a switch right here on the Stream Deck to temporarily disable the doorbell person notifications. That way I can work in peace. Another thing I like to display is the live solar production from our solar panels. I've had some issues with Tesla solar in the past where our inverters will just randomly stop working. Tesla's come out and fixed it and it's been working fine ever since but I still like to keep an eye on it just to make sure the numbers are high unless it's a really cloudy day, which is why I have the weather displayed right above it. It automatically generates an icon based on the weather and I can also display the humidity, wind, or whatever I want, which could be really handy depending on where you live. That way if the weather is nice, I can just quickly open up the smart shades in here. I have a smart button that came with the Ikea roller shades and it works fine, but you have to worry about replacing the batteries and cluttering up your desk with it. 
With the Stream Deck, I have the open and close buttons right there, so I don't need the Smart button. I'm using the Smart Shades and other smart devices in this room way more because of how easy it is to use on the Stream Deck. I also like how much more productive I can be with it. I created a button I can just press when I want to focus on work. It starts up an hour-long timer and puts my devices in Do Not Disturb. This has helped me so much because I can easily be distracted when I should be working. When I see that timer ticking down, it's a great reminder that time is precious and I shouldn't waste it. But I still like to see what's going on around the house in a non-distracting way, like if the garage door is open or closed. A nice little icon shows the status of the garage door. That way I can quickly see if Allie just arrived home and I can go help with groceries or something. Speaking of Allie, I have some buttons dedicated just for her. One will text her asking if we want to go out for dinner. I'll press this if the kids have been screaming all day and she might need a break. Another button lets her know that I'll be working later than normal, which I try not to do, but sometimes happens. But my favorite is this heart button. It auto-generates a nice message and sends it to her. It's like the little heart relationship meter in video games. You just press the button and that meter fills up. I don't know if it gets more romantic than that. Of course, I also have a button that controls the lights in the room. You can set two different icons depending if the device is on or off. So I have a dark light bulb icon for when the lights are off, and when I press it, the icon changes to show that they're on. Pretty cool, and the icon will still automatically update if you turn the light on or off from your phone or something. So yes, I have a few buttons for individual lights, but since I have a lot of smart lights in here, I have a button to run an automation to turn everything on or off. That's because I already created those automations, but you could also trigger scenes or scripts to run in your smart home. There's so many options available, it's awesome. Another thing that's convenient to display on the Stream Deck is battery levels. I hate when my phone battery gets low and I didn't even realize it. At a quick glance, I can see if I need to charge my phone. I can also see my contact sensor battery levels, so I have a better idea of when I might need to replace the battery. When I'm getting a lot of work done, it might involve my NAS drive, so I can keep an eye on the stats with how much space I'm using, the temperature, and CPU percentage. I can also display the real-time CPU percentage of my computer, so if it's running higher than normal, I can press it and it will pull up the activity monitor. That way I can stop any rogue processes. I have three little kids, and keeping the floors clean is an ongoing battle. So if everyone is away or asleep but me, I can press a button on the stream deck to have the robot vacuum clean and mop just the kitchen. Because for some reason, the kitchen is the last room our robot vacuum cleans, so sometimes it gets skipped. So having this button to clean the kitchen kind of solves it. Some of you might be early risers, but I am definitely a night owl. I love how quiet our house is late at night, and I can be extremely focused for big blocks of time. But when I do that, I might not want to wake up as early as I normally do. So I have a switch on the stream deck that I can disable my early morning alarm for the next day. That way I have a little more recovery time from working late at night. When I'm done working, I can press a button to shut everything down and another button to put my computer to sleep. The button to shut everything down has a little more to it. First, there's a delay so I can walk out of the room with the lights still on before everything turns off. Then, only if it's late at night, the lights going to my bed will light up so I can see where I need to go. Those lights will automatically turn off after closing my bedroom door, and the light strips turn off once I lay down from the pressure sensor under my mattress. It's amazing! The Stream Deck is extremely useful for getting work done, too. I have tons of Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcuts saved as buttons. If you do any kind of work on the computer, you can use this to really speed up your workflow, especially since it can run multiple commands with one button. The buttons can also change based on what program I'm using on my computer, but I prefer to manually switch the views so I can jump back and forth easier. There were a few little things I had to figure out to get this all working, but it wasn't too difficult. And I'll put some notes down in the description to help you out if you want to do this yourself. Thanks for watching! Okay, okay, Reed, I get it. We can go to dinner. You texted me like 50 times. What? Ah, oh, it must be glitching out. I never pressed the button. Oh, so happy meals.